How um, how you kind of help guys stay in their routines going into this and not try to let maybe the the winner take all kind of mentality got like right. kind of affect things. Um, I mean, you want it to affect you to a certain degree. You know, a lot of guys, you know, a lot of guys regular season, I'm not speaking for us, but a lot of guys regular season, you know, don't get their sleep and, you know, are burning, you know, <laughs> burning both ends of the candle. But, you know, this is, a, this is, you know, this time of year is special and different. So, you know, you try to get them to understand that it is different to take care of yourselves a little bit more because this is, uh, you know, it's, instead of, you know, a lot of times regular season is just kind of a physical battle. This is going to be a mental battle tonight as well. And, um, you know, if you haven't been there, you don't necessarily, you don't get that right away. But, um, you know, you want to make it a big deal without making it too big of a deal. Um, just make sure guys take it seriously. Larry, uh, B.I. has talked about just, there's kind of been a shift in his mentality this season in terms of, like, he's trying to impact the, the game in other ways besides just scoring, which you know, I think we all know he could do really well. But what have you seen from him in terms of, like, playmaking and, and doing kind of some of the other things? No, what's crazy is I, uh, obviously, early in my career, I, I got a chance. I was fortunate enough to play with B.I. in L.A. Uh, and you know, obviously a heck of a player there, but you know, I, being in the Eastern Conference for the past three years and not really getting to see him that much, um, and now being on the same team, like I did not really realize how really, how good of a playmaker he actually is. Um, he sees the court really well, looks for his teammates, um, incredibly unselfish, which is uh, rare for a player of his caliber. Um, but honestly, like like you said, he just affects the game in a lot of different ways, especially especially now, you know, defensively with his length. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm thrilled at, at the player he's turned out to be, and obviously he's about 25, so he's still going and growing. So uh, I'm excited to see the finished product. This is only halfway. How do you like the way the second unit has come together? I know the last couple games the Lions were a little mixed yeah. up and stuff, but before that, it seemed like you guys had a really nice stretch of games. No, we do. Uh, we got a really good second unit. I'm, you know, um, obviously Jose is a is a spark plug. You know, obviously coming in, bringing the energy. He's going to change the game. Um, he's going to change the game regardless of what's going on. So uh, he's just he's just havoc havoc on the court. Um, Najee's Najee's so downhill and direct. Um, playing playing off a guy like him is great. Obviously Trey, sniper. You know, and I, you know, at a freak at the rim and. Uh, you know, Billy is a walking double double, so it's you know it's fun. It's fun to you know if somebody if I was a gambling man, I'd bet on Billy to have a double double damn near every night. Um, you know, and myself, I you know I, I think of myself as jack of all trades, so I try to you know fit in where uh, fit in where I needed and 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 uh, you know kind of kind of be the kind of be the vocal leader behind that group. And I think we've come together really well, and um, you know I'm just excited to hit the floor with them tonight. Since the break, you guys have been a different team. Right? Both Brandon and CJ are out there on the floor. Um, I think both of those guys are both top ten in middies this year. When, when you have two guys who can definitely get their shot at that level, how does that put pressure on the defense when you have two guys that can do that? Uh, when you, I mean, the, the defense can key in on one. It's hard to key in on two. And what makes it even more special is the fact that we do have we have two guys that can do it, but we also have you better not ignore JB either because he'll hit you for twenty and twenty as well. So. Um, you know, this team can do it, do it in a lot of different ways, and uh, obviously the head of our snake is, is CJ and B.I., but, um, you know, as you saw last night in the Timberwolves game, Cat had an off night and other guys stepped up. You know, that, that's, that could be the night tonight. I hope not, but, uh, you know, if, if they're not, uh, if the game plan is to take one of those two, two guys away, I guarantee you we're going to have a few guys that are ready to step up. You mentioned Trey being a sniper. What have you seen from him in the progress that he's made, even just in the brief amount of time that, since you've been here? Uh, confidence, honestly. Um, you know, when I got here, I, I, you know, I hadn't, again, I hadn't seen him play a whole lot. Um, but after seeing him shoot a few times in the workouts, I knew exactly what he was. Um, and the fact that anytime he passes up a shot, the whole bench, if you look at us, or the, whoever's on the court is like Trey. <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of that out here right now. You got to let it fly. You have to be that, you have to be that one. And tell you what, there's a whole lot of money in shooting the ball right now. So, um, It'll definitely, uh, it'll definitely behoove you to shoot it. But honestly, it's uh, his confidence that's been sky high since I got here.